C. You're going to put your right hand on C. All right. <clears throat> your left hand has a pinky on C. First, let's get the rhythm of the right hand, okay, for line one. It comes in on what's called a pickup note. This is called Papagena's Aria. This is from the Magic Flute that Mozart wrote. Um, and Jennifer Eklund arranged this edition. So I can send you a video on the Magic Flute. It's a long video, but it's really good. And the Magic Flute is an opera. And then you can see Papageno. He's like a bird man. So he, he plays a flute and he has feathers. And I'll send you the video. It's really cute. All right. So we start on E. One thing to remember is you see a circled two over one of your eighth notes. You'll have to cross the second finger over to B, okay? All right, so here we go. One, we're gonna come in on beat four. One, two, three. Yeah, you'll really enjoy playing this after you watch the, the movie because you'll recognize the song that he sang. Okay, and the left hand has a pinky on C, and it's C and G. Ready, play. Rest, rest. Drop your pinky. Rest, rest. Okay, let's try together line one. One, two, three. notes in there on you okay so that was kind of the end of the phrase okay so what you should do is you should practice that little part until you know it most likely however old you are so if you're 10 years old or 11 years old you need to play it 11 times okay each time you take a little section you practice on your own then pop then watch the video and try to play with me you can also rewind the video and play with me several times okay now we're going to go to the next part so we're doing the second line and we're starting in measure one of those last two um eight notes ready one two just right hand one two three my copy was not clear I think on the last measure oh they I think they are all staccatos okay so make sure when you play a staccato it's real short okay and left hand's easy there because it's just G's and C's let's try starting on line two the end of measure one both hands if you need to practice pause your video and practice then turn it back on and try to play along with me one two three well let's start again one two, three. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna try the first two lines together. And remember, don't give up. If you make a mistake, don't take your hands off the piano. Leave them up here. And also, it's a good idea when you're doing a practice along video, if you plug your device, like your ear earbuds or headphones, whatever you have, if you can plug your headphones into your device, put one earphone in one ear, leave the other ear blank, you know, don't put anything in it, so you can hear your piano. You'll be able to play along with me a lot easier. I mean, you can do it without headphones, but it's easier with headphones. All right, here go the first two lines. One, two, three. keep doing it until you can keep up okay now the next line just has a couple interesting rhythms in it you've got this dotted on third line you've got a dotted quarter note the rhythm is one two and three four okay so clap that with me ready go one two and three four and you play it like let's play together the first measure ready play easy Okay, kind of fancy. Then in the next measure, don't get confused because you got those crazy eighth notes 
and one is in the left hand and one is the right. So they're connected weird. They look kind of weird, but it doesn't mean anything fancy. It's just G. It's just left and then right. Okay. Um, let's, so you can pause the video and practice. When you're ready, we're going to play together. All right, let's see. This, you're going to have on the first measure before you practice, you've got your uh, left hand, you've got your thumb on G, then you're going to have to move your thumb up one to A. So you can play that. Well, actually, we may have to do some, yeah. And we'll cross the two over on the A, okay, on the next measure. So let's try left hand for those two measures before you practice together. Ready? Play. G, move your thumb. Back to thumb. Cross over. Okay. All right, line three together. One, two, three, four. Two. Do line three again, okay? All right, one, two, three, four. Cross over. Okay, now practice that until you get it, till you can play with me. Then try all three lines. When you're ready, we're gonna do line four. Line four, the only new thing is you've got 16th notes uh, in the bottom, okay? Uh, on the, um, well, it all is on the bottom. It's the last line of the page. But in the right hand, you've got some 16th notes. It's one in the last measure. It's C, and then you pick up your hand to a higher C. So practice that. Ready? Go. One, two, and three. So the counting is one. Okay, let's try both hands. If you want to just play one hand with me, rewind the video and then practice the other hand along with me and then both hands, that's fine. One, two, three, four. line again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so both hands. One, two, three, four. Give it a shot. I'll see if I can scroll down. Let's start at the beginning again. One, two, three.
continue on to page two. Okay. I may have to print these out to be able to play them for you. But I'm out of ink right now, and I haven't gone to the store, so that's my problem there. Okay, so page two. It starts with an E, and you jump again to the C. Let's do the right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. You can keep rewinding or practice and get that right hand. There's nothing tricky in the left um, for that. And then the ending, um, I'm going to start 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. I'm going to start on measure 22. So if you look at page 2, line 3, you see a 20 on the top of the treble clef. That means measure number 20. So go to measure 23. And see where those 16th notes are on the end, on the third beat? I'm going to start right there, okay? So we're going to go one, two, three. Four, and one, two. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, when you get to the last line, be careful because it's one, two, three, four. And then it says 8VA, so you have to move your hand up. Okay, and then you have to hand, move your hand up again. You're not going to be able to see my hand because I'm moving it up. But it's the same thing. It's C, D, E, F, G. Then a higher C, D, E, F, G, and 15, 8, V, A is, or say 15 is, yes. Okay, I'm not a morning person, but I'm making a morning video. Okay, so we're going to do measure 22, okay, with the 16th notes. Play along with me. One, two, three. What's cool is, by the time you end up, you have played the highest note on the piano. There's hardly any songs where you ever get to play the highest note on the piano. So it's really cool. It's really cool. All right, so um, you can keep practicing that right hand with me, and then I'll help you when we do our online lesson, but this will get you a great start. This will get you a big, big help before I see you just practice along with the video and try to play and of course you can pause it at any time okay see you later